So Paratimes is a UK startup um, whose mission really is to build um, simple but yet really intelligent data discovery and system monitoring tools. Um, and that combination between simple and intelligent is what it's, what it's all about. Um, the team have got a lot of experience in financial services, uh, in telecoms, and in AI. Um, they're based in Bath. Um, and uh, the first product that they've got um, is actually a data quality monitoring tool, um, which uh, is, is basically profiles and understands the data in large systems from the data feeds. And it basically alerts, it monitors and alerts when there's things that go wrong. And the key, that the intelligent bit, the key intelligent bit is that it doesn't want to drown the, um, the user or the admin with noise, because that's what's supposed to be very simple for the systems. So it's trying to understand and put in automatic thresholds, and the more people use it, or the more companies use it, the more it will understand from the thresholds. Um, the, the, the product is in alpha. Um, it's about two weeks away from the beta, and they've already got four um, sign-ups in terms of trials. And we're talking three major financial services institutions and one major telco. Um, and it's because this is a real problem that they need solved. So it's actually. Um, I think they've, they've hit on something that's, that's really useful. Um, the, the beta comes out in two weeks' time. Um, that's when the first trial kicks in. Uh, and I think the beauty of this is even though it's very valuable to telcos and to financial services, actually it is relevant to anybody that has large, um, large systems that are fed by large numbers of data. So I'm happy to take questions. I might not be able to answer them. Um, bear in mind that I'm the non executive system the board and ask them about his budget, so uh, thank you very much. Can you tell me about the background of the individuals? Sure. So, um, Andrew, Andrew Carr um, uh, was a, a, a VP of technology at a financial services company. Um, he actually um, came across this problem multiple times, um, and before that, he was a senior <laughs> telco out in Vancouver. Um, and experienced the same problems. He's hired a senior developer, it comes from telco background. Um, we've got Abby who uh, heads up all of the business development side of things. Um, and myself, even though I'm a, I, I'm a non-exec, but I'm spending a fair amount of time with the team. I come from the background of our CEO of a thing called Filter, which was a, a predictive taste profiling mechanism for digital media. Um, so it was trying to build recommendations, trying to build um, taste profile for individuals, and it served, the way it actually made money is it did all of this for telcos, for Orange and BT and people like that. So that combination of people, I think that we're quite focused in, in being able to deliver that first product, but actually with the big ambitions um, that we have that we have before, before that. And that's all we've got time for, so... <laughs>